Today, we're talking about WhiteBit and how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly. Welcome back to another video. Today's wallet is the WhiteBit wallet, and I'm gonna break this video down pretty straightforward. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the wallet itself, then I'm going to jump into the integration and how easy it is with Coinly, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. I'll have you out of here in a few minutes. And then lastly, I'll leave you with some resources. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, we'd be happy to get back to you. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. WhiteBit was founded in 2017 and it's based out of Estonia. Currently, they are in the top 50 exchanges by trading volume, hovering at around the 35 mark. Um, the exchange offers standard trading. It's pretty friendly to beginners, but it also has something called smart, uh, smart staking and lending. They claim to offer 28% in passive income on their smart staking, as well as 30% APR when lending cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and USDT. So let me know in the comments if you've used any of their services and what kind of returns you've been able to get. Okay, so let's jump into the integration part of this video. As always, log into Coinly, head over to the wallet section, click add wallet. We're gonna type in WhiteBit and there it is. So for this one, we're gonna use the API method. So set up AutoSync, let Coinly import your transactions automatically. We're gonna click that. And now we're looking for the API key and the API secret. So let's go to WhiteBit. We're here at the dashboard. In the top right corner, we're gonna go to API. Here, we're gonna click generate a new key. And here is our key, so let's copy that. And here is our secret. Let's copy that and paste it as well. And here, what you wanna make sure to select is enable access restrictions. Um, this will basically enable um, API keys. So let's go back into Coinly and click secure import. Now, the other route here is to import a CSV file, but I currently don't see that as an option on their exchange. If that's changed um, and they've added it since I posted this video, then feel free to look into that and get a CSV file. Alternatively, you can try contacting their support and maybe requesting a file, but I think for this exchange, the API works just fine. So that was pretty straightforward, I think. Um, the next part is to get your necessary tax documentation. So head over to tax reports. Here, you'll get a summary of all your transactions, where your capital gains are, your costs and expenses, and you can use this area to kind of monitor and keep track of your crypto activity. Um, at the very bottom, you can select the necessary tax documentation for your region. And as this nice graphic on the screen demonstrates, we have quite a few options. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, other, and other countries. We have the complete tax report. And this complete tax report document is one that you can give to your accountant and they can combine it with other tax documentation to send out. Or alternatively, you can invite them to the Coinly platform to set up their accountancy firm. And lastly, as I always say, make sure to check your country's uh, regulations because this report might be deductible. But that just about sums up this video. If you have any questions, I'm gonna leave some links down below. First one is the Coinly Help Center where we have countless resources if you'd like to learn more about crypto taxes. Then we have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a um, message center where you can send us a message or you can send us an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.